My name is David Logansino. I'm an assistant professor at East Carolina University in the Department of Coastal Studies and an assistant scientist at Coastal Studies Institute. Uh, I graduated from East Carolina University with my master's in geology. From there, I transitioned to Florida International University in the Department of Geological Sciences. I got my PhD. Uh, and then from there, I left to NASA Goddard Space Flight Center and the University of Maryland to do some remote sensing research. So here we're using satellites uh, and airborne imagery to look at how the world is changing around us. So remote sensing is the ability to capture uh, data or information without actually being there. And so what we do is we actually use uh, pictures taken from space or from aircraft to actually look at the ground uh, and the world around us to see how these images are changing over time. So my main research interests are to look at how the coastlines are changing around the world. Uh, so not only here for Eastern North Carolina, but how those coastlines are changing in West Africa, how they're changing in Indonesia, how they're changing across the Caribbean uh, with different aspects associated with hurricane disturbances like we just had recently, or how humans are actually changing those coastlines with development, with tourism, with conversion to agriculture and aquaculture. So we use a number of different sort of research tools to identify these changes on the ground. Uh, one, we use satellites that are orbiting around the Earth. Um, we use airplanes that have specialized sensors on board. And as well, we use a bunch of different drone imagery to calibrate those images that we collect from both airborne and satellite data. So the Department of Coastal Studies at ECU is a, a new department that's just started here. And what's really cool about this department is its um, interdisciplinary nature. So the fact that a remote sensor is working uh, across the hall from an anthropologist, an economist, a biogeochemist, a sedimentologist, that we can all start to look at and answer these interesting questions along the coast that one discipline can't really uh, answer by themselves. So Eastern North Carolina and the Outer Banks uh, are actually a coastline that are studied in schools around the world. So I have colleagues in Australia that are actually studying the the dynamics between tourism and geological processes of the Outer Banks. Some of the plans that I have here is to actually use our remote sensing, our drone, our airborne imagery to look at how fast these barrier islands are changing, as well as where are the areas that are most vulnerable. So looking at how disturbances are changing the Outer Banks, both on the natural ecosystems, but how they're affecting the human populations and tourism. So one of the reasons I do this work is actually to provide us with a more uh, larger scale or landscape scale perspective on what we actually measure on the ground. So it's best to have field sites, um, collecting data along the beach, in the marshes, um, but using remote sensing drones and airborne imagery, we can actually provide a larger scale information um, to look at how things are changing outside of our neighborhoods that you may see every day but actually looking that at a much broader scale across the state, across the, the continent, across the world.